على الكشف عالي والكشف عالي النجي <تصفيق> Come on, come and sit down. Listen very quietly to a story. I love listening to stories, don't you? I'm Mimi and I tell stories. The First Hippo on the Moon by David Williams Illustrated by the artistic genius Tony Ross One enormously rich hippo, Hercules Waldorf Franklin III, paid for a gigantic hippo space centre to be built to blast him there. Sheila didn't. Yes, the other hippopotamus's name was Sheila. One morning, she announced, I want to be the first hippo on the moon. But Sheila, said her giraffe friend, you don't have a space rocket. Then we'll make one, Keith, Sheila replied. Yes, the giraffe's name was Keith. Us hippos like to dream big. Sheila's friends got to work building her a rocket. Quick, as you can. Well, you could help me, dear. Tina, the elephant, brought back the biggest tree trunk she could find. <sighs> Joyce, the gorilla, fetched the longest vine. And Derek, the ostrich, was given the task of gathering the pongiest mountain of rhinoceros dung. After many days and nights, the animals finally unveiled their space rocket. Well, something that looked a bit like a space rocket, a tiny bit. Thank you, friends. It's my very own Hippopoc rocket. All they needed to do now was ignite the rhino dung and blast Sheila into space. But how? Try rubbing these two spiky thingy bobs together to create a spark, instructed the hippopotamus. Well, thank you very much, dear. OK, let's go, Sheila announced. Is your bottom hot too? Boiling, dear. Dream Big, everyone! Three, two, one, blast! But before Sheila could say, off, it started raining. It rained and rained and rained. It was rainy season. It didn't stop raining for five long months. The moment the rain stopped, Sheila began her countdown again. Three, two, one, blast off! The hippo -po rocket shot into the sky. The hippopotamus watched as the earth became smaller and smaller and the moon became bigger and bigger. But in deep space... Disaster struck. Sheila was so busy munching on her shrub sandwiches that she didn't spot what was hurtling towards her. A giant asteroid! The hippo rocket smashed into hundreds of pieces, sending the shocked hippopotamus spinning wildly through space. She tumbled towards the moon. Boom! To her astonishment, Sheila had landed on top of the other hippopotamus just as he was taking his first hippo step on the moon's surface. I'm terribly sorry. Excuse me? What on earth, I mean the moon, are you doing here? I, uh, um, I wanted to be the first hippopotamus on the moon. Well, you're not. I am Hercules Waldorf Franklin III. Remember that name, the name of the very first hippopotamus on the moon. 
Can't we both be the first hippopotamuses on the moon? No, just look at you. Call yourself a hippopostronaut. You don't even have a hippo space suit or a hippopo buggy. Get back in the hippopo rocket and buzz off now. With a tear in her eye, Sheila trudged off to the hippopo rocket. Her big dream had been crushed. As the engines roared, Hercules walled off the third, bounded towards it. Stop! That's my hippopo rocket! Oops! Sorry! Blast off! Seconds later, Sheila realised she didn't have a clue how the hippopo rocket worked. Roar! Entering the Earth's atmosphere, the hippopo rocket soon began burning up. Within moments, the hippopotamus's bottom was blazing like the sun. Sheila hit the Earth with a giant wallop. She lay motionless on the ground, her bountiful behind sizzling like a sausage. Sheila! Wake up! Tragic, dear. Oh, it's so sad, isn't it? But she wouldn't wake up. This was the saddest day the jungle had ever seen. Then out of the silence came a sound. <laughs> the distinctive sound of a bottom burp. All the animals stared at each other. Who would dream of letting one go at such a sad time? <laughs> Another one, longer and louder than the first. It was Sheila. What's that awful smell? Try and breathe through your mouth, dear. Oh, it's made my eyes water. The hippo trump was so thunderous, she woke herself up. Now Sheila was famous all over the world as the very first hippopotamus on the moon. Dream big! She never mentioned the other hippopotamus who got there first. So whatever you do, please don't tell anyone. And that's Mimi and 